Welcome to Alan Combs Versus. We get to discuss some of the more controversial things that have been said in the recent news cycle with the uh, key pundits and players getting attention on both traditional and digital media, the epitome of what we like to call around here uh, fair and balanced. Joining me today is David Horowitz, founder of the David Horowitz Freedom Center. David, thanks for talking to us today. Well, thank you, uh, Alan, for having you, me. you said some things lately I'd be curious to ask you about. You said Obama hates America, he hates the Marines, he hates our country. And you really I believe think that? I also said he's a traitor. And he's a traitor. Uh, yeah. Well, let me ask, Alan, if uh, I think this is a no brainer. If a Franklin no -brainer? Roosevelt uh, delivered a nuclear weapon to Hitler and $150 billion in ballistic missiles to carry on terrorist attacks against America and the West, what would you call Roosevelt? Well, that's not what's uh, happening. This, Obama has preferred a country, the, the, the America's greatest enemy who has killed more Americans um, than any other country except in open warfare. All those IEDs, all those wounded warriors are killed by Iranian IEDs. Uh, he prefers that over Israel. You have to say this man is a Jew hater. He doesn't really a Jew care hater. if Israel is absolutely wiped off the face of the earth. I don't care what he says. I don't care how much Iron Dome he delivers. What he's doing is he ha has his legacy by his own determination, is to build up Iran and introduce it into the community of nations when it is worse than Nazi Germany because Hitler hid the final solution. He didn't shout it wait, from wait the Wait a minute, are you, you're accusing are you Obama of being akin and to Kerry Adolf has, Hitler? Uh, you know, he's a family member with, uh, with the guy he's negotiating with in Iran. He's got an you know, Iranian uh, daughter-in-law, whatever it is. David, uh, are you accusing of Obama of, of being akin to Adolf Hitler? I, uh, no, he is not Adolf Hitler. He's an evil man in that sense, yes. An evil man? He because is destroying, he, he, he's destroying our borders. He, he, he will pick up, he will send emissaries uh, to Ferguson for a street thug who got himself killed, uh, you know, t attempting to disarm a police right. officer, resisting arrest. Right. David, you're but when a beautiful young woman who happens to be white and is a, a good Samaritan when she is murdered by somebody I, that he is chiefly responsible David, you're, for you're getting covering, into this country, I hold, hold it, hold he it, hold won't it. even pick up the phone. Hold it just a second, David. Call her parents. You're holding. Hold on he a second, David. He is systematically destroying Can you hear me, okay, America. David? David, can you hear me? You're covering yes, a lot of ground here. Let's take. We only have a short time. Let's okay, just take one ahead. of the things you said in terms of the border. Let's put up what the Economist is reporting. America is expelling illegal immigrants at nine times the rate of 20 years ago. Nearly two million so far under Barack Obama, outpacing any previous president. And I can okay, show you some so numbers. Let me just finish for a moment here. Numbers from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. You can see year by year how deportations have increased, specifically under President Obama. What you're stating is categorically untrue. Well, no, it is categorically true. I mean, you know, figures don't lie, but liars can figure. And the, and the how is that a lie? What we just showed you. How is that a lie? It's a left-wing paper. Oh, you tell me why he's violating the Constitution by his own account, says he doesn't have the authority for this amnesty, for, uh, uh, the deportation amnesty. Why we're importing tens of thousands of immigrants from terrorist countries like Somalia, uh, while we have a porous border, which people can uh, cross 10 but times. But he's or not six doing that. He's deported more people Come on. than any previous He's responsible president. for all of the illegals that are in this country. All he, of them? He is so, determined. He's going to veto any legislation that attempts to, uh, to stop it. He's violating the Constitution. He doesn't have the constitutional authority to change immigration laws, but he's doing it. And don't, don't quote me statistics or on some left-wing English He has paper. deported more undocumented immigrants than any previous Well, he's president. let more in. So what? That's not true. Uh, not, what, not what, what's the five million that, that he I, don't, gave I don't know where you're getting the, the five million figure. I get from. it. Please come on. I just showed I you numbers the by the Department of Homeland Security. For. What I get it from, uh, you know, the New York Times for crying out tears. Everybody knows so you're that quoting the liberal New York program. Times. <laughs> anyway, the well, Democratic David. Party has worked for 10, 20, 30 years to destroy our borders. Well, that's that's their policy. Just according to, to the Department borders. of Homeland Security, we don't care who comes in. We're not going to screen them for contagious diseases. We're not going to look to see if they're criminals. We're going to import, what did he import, 60,000 kids without parents? 
and right, they but deliberately David, that's just spread not them across happening the according to the Department of Homeland Security. Look, we, we could go on for a long time. All right. I know you've got a lot to say. He is delivering a nuclear weapon to the Hitlerites in Tehran. Uh, there's, and there's no, no evidence disputing that. That that's None, going on. Not even the Obama administration. What that all they claim is, oh, the alternative is war. Well, as as uh, Churchill said to Chamberlain, yeah, you had a choice between dishonor and war. You chose dishonor, and now you're going to get David, more. David, I thank you very much for your time today. Thank Thanks you, for Al. talking to us. And be sure to follow David on Twitter, Hurwitz Center. That's a Twitter. And I'm Alan Combs. Thanks for watching.